It can be very frustrating when you're trying to lose fat. And a lot of people just go and push harder and harder rather than looking on the inside like I do with a lot of my clients. And we look at the gut health. Is your gut functioning? Because if you put food in your mouth and your body can't get the goodness from that food, it can't get the nutrition, the nutrients, how is it going to be able to function enough to lower your stress levels to actually go forward and burn fat effectively? Now, there are ways you can tell if your gut is something that is impacting your fat loss. The first one is that your joints may hurt. Do your joints hurt? Have you got something like rheumatoid arthritis? And that is down to that, an unbalanced gut microbiome and causing inflammation in there. Usually things like celiacs or IBD, irritable bowel disease, these are things which are gonna impact from your gut. And they probably will stop you from losing fat to a degree. Even if you're in a harsh calorie deficit, which essentially is gonna cause more stress, which may actually then make the gut worse, it's fighting fire with fire, it's a vicious circle. Number two, if you have antibiotics, do you get diarrhea afterwards? Do you find that you'll be ill, you'll go to the doctors, you'll get prescribed antibiotics, and then you will just get ill? The reason for this is that the antibiotics wipe out your good and your bad gut bacteria. So that means we need to repopulate that. Getting some probiotics in there when you have the antibiotics, cool. Yes, it's good to wipe out the bad, but you don't want to wipe out the good. So those probiotics are going to help get that gut repopulated to the level you want. I usually put most of my clients on probiotics within the first couple of months, depending on where they're at and the results they start getting. The third, do you have a lot of food sensitivities? Do you bloat when you have carbs? You're one of these people that say, I have one potato and I put on 10 pounds. Well, yeah, because carbs bring in water, but do you bloat because you're not digesting the food well enough? So you say, a low carb diet is for me. I have to go on a high fat diet. I have to follow low carbs because I just blow up. <clears throat> Maybe there's a problem in your gut maybe this is also impacting your fat loss. You never know. Bloating, gas, constipation, cramps, really runny poops. All these things can show that your gut flora is out of whack, that your gut is not working the way it should be. It's not digesting the food. It's kind of having a bad day at the office. So again, as I mentioned, probiotics, reducing stress, and really getting on top of your food, lower processed, even taking gluten and dairy out for a little bit, potentially, is gonna help you here with actually improving your gut health. Improve your gut health, you drop fat a lot easier. Number five is that you are anxious all the time. Now the gut microbiomes, microbiomes, microbes, will actually help regulate your brain chemistry, which is good, makes you feel good, it's cool. Your gut is the second brain. It tells you to feel good. If you're bloated, yes, you're not gonna to feel too good around here, but also your brain function isn't gonna be as good. The way you respond to stress isn't gonna be as good. People feel anxious so much and then they have something which they wouldn't normally get stressed out about, stresses them the fuck out. Because their gut isn't functioning right. If you're really anxious a lot, and then you get anxious about fat, lot, fat loss, maybe your gut isn't functioning properly, and getting that to function properly can lower the anxiety if you lower the stress and increase the fat loss. Just saying. Number six is that you get sick easily. Do you find you're one of these people that is constantly, constantly sick? Constantly getting the flu, constantly getting some sort of infection, constantly run down. Maybe your gut is out of sync. Number seven, the last one, is that you gain weight easily. You're one of these people that you can look at a chocolate bar, you can look at candy and put on 10 pounds. You feel that you have one cheat meal 
and you put on 20 pounds. So you have to be so strict on your diet, miss social situations, which adds to the anxiety, it adds to the stress, because you gain weight so easily. All these things are signs that your gut may be out of balance. And that's what I call a gut feeling about fat loss. Now, if you wanted to discuss any of these things here, did I just really say, do you want to discuss about runny poops? Yep, I did. I talk to my clients about their poops quite a lot. Some of them apologize. As long as you're not sending me pictures, that's cool. I draw a line there. But if you want to talk about the issues here and see if your gut is impacting your fat loss, get in touch. Revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash let's talk. And you can apply for my online coaching there. I get back to everyone within 48 hours and let you know if you are a fit and we can get working together. I'll speak to you soon.